Hello guys, in this tutorial we are going to learn how to set up Elasticsearch, Fake and Kibana Sex together so that we can use it with a other setup like Logstash or FluentD. So you can use it anywhere in EFK or in ELK. So for this I have written a blog post on how to install Elasticsearch 6 and Kibana 6. So first you need to have an Ubuntu instance of version 16.04 and you should have security group in place. So as of now I have already created an instance which is an Ubuntu one and I have security groups in place. This is our security group in which I have said that I am allowing traffic from port 80 and I am allowing SSL access for now. So we will be accessing Kibana dashboard on port 80 and we will be later on you can uh, open the port 9200 for Elasticsearch to communicate with other services. So as of now we won't be allowing Elasticsearch to communicate with other services but we will be enabling Kibana uh, to be able to access via web server on port 80. Let's go ahead. So first you need to install install java and set java home in etc environment file. So let's go ahead and ssh into the box. Okay, we are inside our box. Now let us run these commands one by one. We will be installing java 8 because elasticsearch 6 is requires java 8. You must agree to the license available, press enter, then shift to yes because uh, you need to accept the oracle binary code license terms. Now after this you can check the java version. Download has been completed. So java is installed, it is of version 8. Now let's see if java home is set up or not. So right now java home is not yet set up so let's go ahead and set it up open the file etc environment here you can see path is already set so you can ignore this and you can simply set java home save this file and then source it now if you do eco java home okay now it is set so we are done with java installation now we will be installing elasticsearch with version 6 go ahead and run this command one by one Now after installation there should be a file created in init.d directory which is of a name elasticsearch so that you can go ahead and run the command sudo service elasticsearch status start or restart and see if it is running or not. So status is inactive because we haven't started it yet. Okay so elasticsearch setup is complete now. Let's go ahead and change bind address and jvm heap option as per your requirement. So you need to update network.host and uh, set an xms in jvm option file so go ahead and edit the file if you want to run it in cluster mode then you need to set this cluster dot name if you are changing the data path then you can set it here in path dot data and uh, this is network dot host so if you want that Elasticsearch should listen on all the ports private and public or all the IPs not port so go ahead and mimic it anywhere that is 0 .0 .0 .0. So all the custom setting you want you can set it here save this I have set Elasticsearch to bind on everywhere because there could be a scenario where you want to connect to Elasticsearch from some other service in that case your Elasticsearch needs to be bind at 0.0.0, .0. otherwise it won't be able to connect from external services and uh, we need to set up Elasticsearch JVM dot options file so this instance has 4gb ram so i'll be setting up xms and xms to be 2gb that is half of the available now we are good to go we can uh, restart elastic search now see the status okay it's running and as you can see xms and xms parameter has been updated and let's see on which IP address the process has been binded. So I'll run a net stat and as you can see it is listening on everywhere. Okay. So we are done with Elasticsearch setup and in case if you are running a single node cluster then you should set a number of replicas to zero because otherwise if you set number of replicas to more than zero then there will be unassigned shards and uh, your cluster will end up in yellow state so as of now we are not setting cluster name so we are good to go here now we will install kibana let's go ahead and install it this is taking a bit of time because the size of 84 mb and my internet is not that good
Now we will just go through the kibana.yml file after the installation. As I said in Elasticsearch case, the bind address needs to be anywhere if it has to be communicated with other services. The same is the case with kibana since we will be accessing it. Although you can run it, we will be proxying it through nginx. So go ahead and see that the server.host by default is localhost and all the stuff forward and all. Okay, now we can go ahead and restart kibana and see if it is running. Okay, it is running now. Okay, the last part left is now we have Elasticsearch, we have Kibana. Now, Kibana should also be able to talk to Elasticsearch. So, that is also configured in this file only. So, here is the Elasticsearch URL and you can say that it is listening on localhost as well. So, now this is good to go. Uh, now, we will just check uh, on which bind address Kibana is working. So this is Kibana which is running on port 5601 and listening on localhost. This is SSH and uh, this one is Elasticsearch which is listening on everywhere. Now we will be installing Nginx which will be serving Kibana. Now after installation create a Nginx config file specifically for Kibana. We are going to add the following content in it. Now as you can see here, domain name I have given is my kibana.com which uh, does not exist. So what we will be doing is we will be providing the public IP of the instance here. And here in this config, we are proxying to kibana which is running on 5601. You can see one more thing, we have provided auth basic. So we will be preventing our dashboard, we will be providing a basic security using auth which will ask for username and password. Just save this file. We are restart because uh, we haven't created the stpassword.users file which have the credentials. So we are going to set up auth. For this, you need to install apache to utils package. Now we are going to create this file using stpassword command and uh, we are going to give the name I can give the name kibana admin or maybe just admin now it will prompt for password so the password I am going to give is admin only retype your password and the file has been created now we can go ahead and restart nginx okay so nginx has also started just check the status okay it's running now now we should be able to uh, the kibana web on the public url that is the public ip of the instance let's go ahead and uh, try it out okay it is asking for username and password so it was admin and admin login kibana is loading and we are good to go so this is the dashboard this is the latest kibana you can see data from Elasticsearch since you haven't created any index pattern yet so it is not showing any data although you can go in management and in index pattern you can create one and do not find any Elasticsearch data so our installation is fresh so right now you cannot create any index pattern because Elasticsearch doesn't have any data yet so go ahead give some data to Elasticsearch and then you can create index pattern over here so this is all about how to set up Elasticsearch version 6 with Kibana 6. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Like and subscribe to keep us motivated. Thanks for watching.